Yo, mother truckers, you know, I was just chilling, a lot lizarding around like I do. <laughs> Saw the homie here, man, say he rocked with the show. You know what I mean? I mean, we gotta let this truck go by real quick. Car hollers in the house. You know, we all grinding, making our money out here. You know, we were talking, we were speaking off camera, but I didn't get, I didn't get your name, brother. Uh, Edwin. Edwin? Yeah. Hey, pleasure to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Got, uh, I'm, I'm here with the local celebrity. Hey, you better stop with that bullshit, man. We, we call you Robin Hood, Ron Hood, man. Robin Hood. Hey, <laughs> you know. It's one of those things where all we all want to do is provide for ourselves and our family, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I saw you today, Edwin, and, uh, you know, What's going on with you? I see a rider truck back here. So we got issues or what? Yeah, we, got, what? we got issues, man. I, you know, I, I mean, uh, this trucking thing ain't easy, man. And I, you know, I, I started, uh, I've been driving like 14 years now, but I was local. I was with uh, Cisco for about 12 years. And uh, finally, man, I got tired of the, you know, the corporate machine jumped out and went on my own. Everybody called me crazy, bro. Hey, Cisco's a good company though, right? Bro, it's, it's, it's an excellent company, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I need to fill that void, you know what I mean? And I ain't wanna retire at 65 and all broke down and, you know, they give me a company watch and I going on my way. I, you know, I wanted to, you know, truckers in my blood, you know, I'm a first generation trucker. You know, my dad did a little bit of Greyhound, but you know, I'm, I, I wanna consider myself first you know, generation trucker. And uh, a lot of people call me crazy for leaving Cisco, man. A lot of people like, bro, you making 80 grand? And uh, where you gonna make that money at? And you know, I was like, man, you know, it was it was a void, you know what I mean? And and I came out here, and it was days, man. It's like you're on the road, and you're like a tire blow or something. You're like, man, what the hell I'm doing out here, man? man? So where did you jump from, Cisco, going 80? What you did? You just buy your own truck and go for it, or well, what you do? Well, what I did, I did, I, I did a little bit of research. You know, I did a really a little bit of research, and I just one day I called up, man, and like, hey, you know what I got in my account, and I just took it all in and went all in. And uh, I went on in here first, bought my first truck out of in Hialeah Freightliner, and uh, that was a headache. But, uh, you know, these uh, these dealerships, man, if you don't do your homework, they'll get you. They'll get you. What was the first red flag? <laughs> first red flag was my first load I, I picked up was going to California, and my, uh, my dev system went out. You know, I called the dealer, and he was like, uh, uh, we give you warranty on the engine transmission only. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? I'm, like, I'm in the middle of the road. Like, how much you paid for that warranty, bro? Uh, well, um, the warranty was about uh, well, the, the, the well, when I broke down, I had to pay uh, 1,500 to talk to a TA, and and they asked denying me, and I end up finding a local mechanic, and he regen my whole system. I did the whole system over for me. I saw I ended up spending like. 5500 before I made money on my first load. Damn, would you recommend anyone get a damn warranty or just fix that shit yourself? Uh, you got some you got some decent places that give you warranties, but a lot of these a lot of these warranty places say they give you warranty, but they're not going to warranty the, the dev system. You better read the contract. I'm trying to tell you, read the fine print. <laughs> Hell yeah, I heard that. I heard that, man. The devil, the devil in the details. <laughs> hey, I heard that. So after your first truck, uh, what was your next truck? Well, my first one, well, that truck. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long are we going down the list, Edwin? <laughs> that truck, uh, I blew that motor up in uh, uh, Jersey. And uh, my, I got my first real bill was... $23,000. $23,000? I know what you're talking about when you say a real bill. A lot of these, a lot of these warranty places say they give you warranty, but they're not going to warranty the, the dev system. You better read the contract. I'm trying to tell you, read the fine print. <laughs> Hell yeah, I heard that. I heard that, the man. Devil, the devil in the details. <laughs> hey, I heard that. So after your first truck, uh, what was your next truck? Well, my first one, well, well, that truck. <laughs> how, how long we going down the list, Edwin? <laughs> that truck, uh, I blew that motor up in uh, uh, Jersey. And uh, my, I got my first real bill was $23,000. $23,000? Yeah, I know what you're talking about when you say a real bill, because yeah. my first real bill was like $19,000. Wow, yeah, yeah. And, and I saw that bill, and i never forget, man, I called my old lady like, oh, uh, she's like, what happened? And I was like, twenty-three grand. So she was just like, you know, what are we going to do? So I'm like, girl, you're going to have to pull that skirt up. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
she gonna watch this and be like, I remember when he asked me that. I'm in the doghouse now. So, um, ended up letting that go. Went to the auction and bought a Volvo. Uh, didn't realize how small the Volvos was. I had a, what was it, a 680? Yeah. Had a Volvo. Um, damn, they replaced everything on that, man. That summer, oh my Was it a Volvo motor too? Yes. Everybody be hating on the Volvo Motors. What do you say? Is it true or not true? Oh, it's, it's horrible, bro. <laughs> it's been horrible, bro. It's been horrible, bro. And, uh, you know, all about perseverance, man. You know, all about perseverance. You know, until the fat lady sing, you know, I ain't here yet. If I do hear her singing, man, I'm covering my ears. Hey. You know I mean? There's something I want to do. So what's and keeping you going on, Edwin? Like, how, how you stay so damn motivated? Because people are going to watch this and be like, okay. If Edwin can do it, if he could go through breakdowns, and that was two trucks. Is there any three or four, or how many trucks? This is the third one. This is the third one. The third one and yeah. then that's when you rented the Ryder. Yeah. So what happened with the third one? What, what kind of truck was it? So you staying away from Freightliner and Volvo now, or well, what'd you I'm jump into? Away from, from staying away from Volvo Motors, and I'm staying away from uh, from these some of these big dealerships, man. Hey, you know, it's, it's shady business going on, but um, I, I'm I, this a rental, you know, it's, you know, I got it for now, you know, you know. Rider hits, hit, 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 Rider hit me in the head, but you know I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, the, yeah. Rates the rates are good, good right now, no, so you can rent. Are, yeah, the rates are beautiful right now. I hope they stay that way. You know, thank you, but no thank you, COVID. You know what I mean? But um, just you know, you gotta keep going, man. If there's something you really want to do, you know, it's just not perfect. You know what I mean? Life's not perfect. You know, my dad used to always tell me the hardest thing to do in the morning is to, is, is to open your eyes. That's the hardest Facts. thing to do. You know, and after that, you know, everything else, you know, come easy. So I tell anybody who want to come out here, save your research, and come out here and grind, man. You know, you know, if I could do it, I'm from the hood, man. Anybody could do it. Hey, you I know? appreciate that. You know, yeah. uh, you know, my question is, you know, if you could look back for all the people watching this on the couch right now, or a company driver for many years, maybe at a comfortable place like Cisco or something like that, and they want to go owner op, uh, what's the first recommendation? What kind of truck should they be buying, and where would they buy it if not a dealership? Um. You know, you got a lot of places. Well, you got a lot of small-time dealerships. Um, my, my first suggestion is to save, 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 save. You know, if you're gonna come out here with 20 grand, make sure you got 40. You know, some people are like, well, I can't get 40 grand. Well, save it till you come out here, because this is not a friendly game. You know, what I mean, especially when you're getting a breakdown and stuff like that. Um, you know, if, you, if your credit's good, you know, you may, might want to try newer trucks. But uh, those trucks with the six, seven hundred thousand miles on them, try to stay away from them. Cause you're gonna have to replace something, you know. So um, do a little research. Find, find, try to find your lanes. Some guys like reefer. Some guys like flatbed. You know. Some guys all cars. Just try to find your lane and, and go from there. You know what I mean? There's money to be made out here. You know. They ain't got electric trucks yet, so you know. I heard that. I heard that. That's been the that's been the talk of the town, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you know, you say you're from the the hood, you know. How about the people that live in their hood and they feel like they can't make it? Any words of advice for them? Man, as long as you, if you're watching this video, you already made it. You know, if you're watching this video, you already made it. You woke up this morning, you know what I mean. If you're watching this video, that's one step. You know, every day is a different step. You know what I mean. It's not going to come easy but like baby steps, you know what I mean? And then once you start crawling, you start walking. Once you start walking, you start running. Man, hey, I, I don't know you, bro, but I love you, bro. You no, feel I me? I love you, bro. Hey, you feel I, me? I Real talk. Yeah, hey, you know, and someone's going to see this and get some energy from this. So just to clarify, you had the Freightliner, that blew up. Oh. You had the Volvo, that blew up. And then after that, you rented the Ryder? Is yeah. That <laughs> yeah. So you're on your two trucks blown up I'm and then the Ryder. And... What was the biggest bill you ever got? Was it that twenty three thousand? That twenty three thousand, man. I was I was up in uh, I was up in Delaware at uh, well Jersey, and when I blew the motor, I was in a hotel. They emailed me the next morning and said the motor was gone, and I'm just like, oh god, like I had a load, but I had to call a broker. He's charging me, uh, so I had to get a rescue load to come. Somebody come grab the trailer, so it was it was a big mess, you know what I mean? But that was my biggest bill I ever saw, yeah, you I know. But uh. Just prepare for things like that, you know what I mean? But it, it doesn't happen to everybody. I know guys got trucks with a million miles on it, and, and it's all about good maintenance and PMs and stuff like that. Some guys get lucky, some guys don't, you know, but I believe you make your own luck, bro. You know what I mean? So so even if it, if, if you get another truck and blow up, will you ever stop trying, bro? Man, I, as long as I got CDLs and two legs, man, and two arms, and I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna keep going. You know, it's, 
you know, Rome wasn't built in the day, so I mean, it's brick by brick, you know, brick by brick. You know what I mean? So, hey, that's what's up, man. That's love. Shout out to anyone at home. Oh man, you know, uh, shout out to my boy Blade, uh, Kino, Cisco family. You know, if you're watching my truck family, shout out. You know. Uh, I know I'm forgetting somebody. I'm gonna get cursed out in a minute, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no. He he means well. Edwin means well. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, just keep on going, man. Just you know, just perseverance, man. Just just keep on moving through. I love it, man. Yeah, let me get a picture. I know it's the rental, but it don't matter, bro. Let me get a picture in front of that, and then right. let me get one of you on the steering wheel. That's how I make the right, thumbnails. Right, cool. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all on the show, bro. When I tell you, man. It's Motivation, bro. Motivation. Hey, I appreciate you, Motivation, man. That's what man. we do. That's what we do, man. Learn That's what we do. I every day with some of these guys, bro. I hear some of these stories, and I'm like, wow. You know what I mean? And, you know, I ain't the only one going through it. <laughs> no, no way. No way, no way. No way, no way. You know, let me take a picture this way. Get a couple this way. Yeah, looking good, brother. Looking good. Good stuff. Yeah, I got it. Boy, hey, no, it's, hey, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get down now, man. And you know, you, you know, know, there's always haters in the comments. Yeah, you know, yeah. they're gonna be like, oh, how he passes, blah blah blah. Man, <laughs> he do his damn thing. Hey, he worked hey. at Cisco, bro. He could probably, you probably out move everybody, bro. Hey, man, them groceries back in the days, man. Woo. South Beach, man. Riding that truck, uh, driving a 48 on South Beach and Collins. You know, trying to get the uh, Jerry's Diners, delivering that Wet Willies. Mm -hmm. I used to hate working Memorial Weekend, bro. You see, <laughs> you see all the hot chicks, yeah, and you in uniform, sweating and shit, moving with the dollars and shit. It was crazy. Bro. Those were the days, man. Yeah, those were the days. Those were the days, man. So but, you know, can I ask you this personal question? You know, um, are you making more than you were at Cisco? Well, my first year I did. My first year, but before I lost my truck, I made about. Anyway, I was, I made about one forty. That's my, dope. My, my first year, and uh, my second year about one twenty. And after that, my truck tanked, and then um, yeah, couple you know, issues. Yeah, the the race was horrible at one point, right before uh, when Trump was in office, um, with the with the tariffs I was doing and shit. The race had dropped, but now you know, now I'm hey, doing everyone's crazy. winning. Oh my god! It's hey, hey, you can't jump out here now when you can rent a truck, bro, as you can see. <laughs> bro, you how much is a truck a, a week or a month? How how they play you on that? Uh, right now I'm paying uh, I'm paying well I'm paying nineteen, and um. Nineteen hundred a week or nineteen hundred a month. A month. That's not that bad. Uh, yeah, but the, but the maintenance plan—that's what kills you. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that, and then um, the maintenance plan kills you. But you know, it's 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 for now until I grab something else. Yeah, you you, you know? do what you got to do. Yeah, right now the rates are good. Like you know, I, I got some guys grabbing pad blue paddles, bro. I was paying like five hundred bucks. Now you're paying nine hundred dollars. Ain't that something you know, for two hundred miles, bro? So you don't really have to lose the days, man. So but. you know, can I ask you this personal question? You know, um, are you making more than you were at Cisco? Well, my first year I did. My first year, but before I lost my truck, I made about. Anyway, I, was, I made about one forty. That's my, my, my first year, and uh, my second year about one twenty, and after that my truck tanked, and then um, yeah, couple you know, issues. Yeah, the, the race was horrible at one point. Right before uh, when Trump was in office, um, with the with the tariffs I was doing and shit, race had dropped. But now you know, now I'm hey, everyone's crazy. winning. Oh my god! It's hey, crazy. you can't jump out here now when you can rent a truck, bro. as you can see. <laughs> bro, you how much is a truck a, a week or a month? How how they play you on that? Uh, right now I'm paying uh, I'm paying well I'm paying nineteen, and um. Nineteen hundred a week or nineteen hundred a month? A month. That's not that bad. Uh, yeah, but the, but the maintenance plan that's what kills you. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that and then um, the maintenance plan kills you. But you know, it's 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 for now until I grab something else. Yeah, you you, know? you do what you got to do. Yeah, right now the rates are good. Like you know, I, I got some guys grabbing pad blue paddles, bro. I was paying like five hundred bucks. Now you're paying nine hundred dollars. Ain't that something? You know, for two hundred miles, bro. So you don't really have to. Right now, you don't have to go too far, but you don't have to leave the state. You can make money in Florida. Florida is the one of the worst states to make money. Like one of the worst. <laughs> hey, you know the worst, I mean? man. So, you know, it's good right now. Hopefully, it stays for a couple more years. Everybody could build up. You know what I mean? Get some new equipment. You know, but I'm happy right now. You know what I'm saying, go, go, COVID. You know, but, yeah, I heard that. You know I what I mean? That. So, everybody looking at you like you're a superstar. They know what's up. Nah, they already know. They already I'm know. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Hey, you know, that's what's up, man. Thank you so much. No, nah, thank appreciate you, bro. you. I appreciate you, man. I saw yeah. you, so I had to 
sliding, you know, slide. I see you, man. It's, you know, while you move and, and all the stuff you do, the motivators are talking, all the speakers you got, bro. It's just, you know, I mean, sometimes I'll be out here and I feel defeated. But, you know, I, I'll watch a video. I sit and look, watch a little YouTube and mother trucking show on. I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. Hey, you know, you we, know what I mean? we just real people, man. Yeah, just man. try and get that bread, you know? Yeah, that's, and all that's it, do, man. Feed our families, man, and stay consistent, bro. Stay motivated. And, uh, you know, just stay humble, bro. They'll come to you. Man, They'll come to you. Amazing advice, man. Yeah. It's crazy. That's why I love what I do. It's like uh, we're just breaking bread, having conversation. Yeah. But out loud so others can hear and stay motivated. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Just, you know, and I like that shirt right there. Oh, you're the goat, baby. It's ba the goat. You know, you're the goat, man. Ba in your family, you the goat. Oh, man. I don't know if you didn't know. Yeah. My you old lady saying? called me the lamb, though, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Thank you.